anyway to continue uh, I'm gonna give a little bit more detail about what the distraction matrix actually is and what purpose it serves uh, beyond just the obviousness of being distracting because if you look at all these things separately you would say these are things that I do in my free time these are things that uh, entertain me these are things that keep life from being boring they're interesting you know um, TV uh, Facebook uh, trying to think of some other examples anything anything that anything that doesn't broaden your awareness but rather um, keeps you entertained yeah that's very very important if something entertains you but does not enrich you meaning it doesn't add real legitimate value to you uh, you know then it's part of the distraction matrix and as such it's it's probably more or less detrimental to you actually getting to where you're supposed to be for one and for two where you actually want to be which oftentimes is related to where you're supposed to be even if you do even if you can't see the big picture of how those things are related at this precise moment when you look at all the twists and turns that you've already taken and saw that they led you towards a certain field of probabilities that you are now embodying it's it's kind of cool and it's kind of amazing because you know if you really look at where you are and where you started there's no coincidence there's no coincidence involved you know like you made certain decisions without really having any foreknowledge because we hardly ever have foreknowledge about our decisions you made those decisions and they led to you being where you are now they led to who you are now and what you are now you know and how you are Shit. but anyway the distraction matrix is a negative thing because let me tell you a secret as a human being your attention is the most powerful thing that you have why because your your attention is basically related to your intentions what what you what you place your attention on what you spend most of your time placing your attention on is what shapes your reality so if your attention is placed on something that is uh, meant to be a distraction and uh, you know what I'm saying like you're not going to have the energy you're not gonna have the energy to get where you need to go or where you want to go so long as you're investing energy in the distraction matrix you're just not because you're dividing yourself too much you know what I mean like if you want to get good at playing the piano then you play the piano right <laughs> if you want to get good at playing the guitar then you start playing the guitar you invest your time energy and your attention because your intention is to do something uh, that you know you'll enjoy and that you know will enrich you and those things cause you to grow they cause they cause new uh, they cause new uh, synapses uh, damn, what is the word uh, what is the term what is the term <laughs> but anyway they cause your brain to repattern itself whenever you learn something new that you didn't know before 
it causes it causes new connections to form in your brain and it causes old connections related to other things to reroute and change so you know how you spend your time and how you spend your attention is basically the determinant of where you're going to go in life well this is getting kind of lengthy so I feel like I've explained it pretty well but to conclude something that is really important if you want to be more if you feel like if you feel like you're not living up to your full potential if you feel like you deserve better if you feel like your family deserves better if you feel like you could be more I ask you to look where your attention is is your attention in the distraction matrix or is your attention directed inwards um, and it's kind of misguiding to say inwards because as soon as you place your attention inwards your awareness expands outwards and then you grow as long as your attention is outside of yourself being distracted by all these external mechanisms you're never going to you're never going to be satisfied you're never going to be satisfied you know But anyway, yeah, this is getting really long. So, I hope you were able to take something from this message. And uh, until the next time, keep it cool.